Hi, I'm Todd Anderson. Hey, Tom Ross. And you're watching the Versus series on StarCityGames.com. All right, guys, we're here for another standard video featuring Shadows standard. over Innistrad. Standard. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be uh, a, you know a few days before we actually get physical cards on us. Uh, it's Monday right after the pre-release, and uh, I know a, f a few of you guys already have some new cards in your hands. I know that I do. Yeah. What's your favorite card from the set so far, Tom? There been Inspector, not close. <laughs> <laughs> a little Inspector gadget? Yeah. Yeah, he does everything. Yeah, he's he is pretty great. We we've actually been playing a ton of standard uh, over at Jerry Thompson's house. Uh, we've been learning a lot about the format. These are two decks that we've uh, been working on. I think Tom's is is a a, a new uh, idea that he's been working on over the last day. Why don't you tell us about your deck, Tom? Well, I've been working on humans a lot. This is a deck with humans in it, but it doesn't have Thalia's Lieutenant, which is only human payoff card. Um, I'm just taking like concepts from the humans deck, and it's mostly a white deck, splashing blue for Jace and Fletcher Mage. Counter spells, Oshai Command, and uh, Dragon Lord, Ojitai off the board. Um, just good stuff. Nothing particularly strong, but it's all like value based. Like Theraband Spectre, Night of the White Orchid, uh, J.A. Savison. Yeah, I, stuff I'm, I'm excited to see uh, if, if you get to Oshai's Command back, a Hangerback Walker to flip your Avison to like kill all my zombies from Kalidus or something. Yeah, <laughs> the name of the deck's kind of undefined. It has flash elements, but it's not a fully flash deck. After like turn four or five and beyond, I'll probably be. Passing the turn, leaving up mana for things like Secure the Waste, uh, Avacyn, Stasis Snare, Hanger Back, Walker level ups and things. All right, sounds good. Uh, today I'm going to be playing a Black Red Goblin Dark Dweller strategy. Uh, pretty basic stuff, a bunch of removal, a little bit of discard, a little bit of card draw, and then a bunch of value creatures. Uh, we have uh, four copies of Goblin Dark Dweller, uh, two copies of Cletus Main, another one on the sideboard. And then I'm trying out Minerak Demon as just a giant flying threat for four mana. It's pretty easy to turn on as long as you uh, make sure you have a few, you know, of, of all of the elements in your deck. Like I have three copies of Deadweight. Um, I have a decent number of sorceries and instants. I even have Evolving Wilds. And I can just mill over a land with the Minerak Demon itself. Have Chandra uh, too? <laughs> two copies of Chandra at the very top. And uh, yeah, that's about it. You know, we, we uh, our plan is to just try to kill everything, make you discard some cards. After sideboard, I should have a little bit more interaction against you. Uh, maybe cut a little bit of the removal since your deck has uh, you know a lot of like little value elements maybe bring in some duresses or something but uh yeah let's go ahead and get to the match and see how it goes should be let's fun. do it all right high roll see who goes first all right all right all right oh all no right. that's so low might make you go first anyway hmm. make me go first anyway yeah go ahead oh, no. <laughs> start uh, off on a good note i'm on the draw with my nice water orchid deck i'm smart <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is gonna be how it is <laughs> All right. Well, I think I have to keep this hand. It's not great. All right. Yeah, we'll keep whatever. Yep, keep it too. Got some spells. All right. You're going to go get a mountain. Here we go. Oh, it feels so good to fetch go. and not take damage. I might just not play my third land just so Tom doesn't get any value off his Knight of the White Orchid. All right. Foreboding Ruins Revealing Smoldering Marsh. Your turn. Hmm. Should just play it tapped. <laughs> hmm. Or build a swamp. One or two. Go. Man, this is not working out well. Go. Yeah, this game might go a while. Who knows? <laughs> I don't I think I'm gonna be conceding on like turn six. So that's my guess. Will you? I'm assuming that my Cletus is gonna get killed. And then, uh, just got nothing going on after that. Okay, go. No land, he says. Maybe he has another Night of the White Orchid. Ooh. Could be I guess anything. I could just take a look now. Womp. A snare. Some stones, <laughs> another night. He did have another night. He's got this <coughs> Valaby, so I can only take snare. So you got two declarations and another night. Uh -huh. <clears throat> My turn? Nah, Ooh, go. fish. Can't use the lands too well right now. So. Whoop. Yep, 18. You'll mm -hmm. get just. Looks like a basic planes. Declaration of Stone has been particularly strong in uh, a lot of the, Abby, go. the matches we've been playing so far in the format. Pick up my hand here in a second. Am I getting Cletus dead weighted? That could be happening. Hmm. 
Nah. Maybe. Alright, go. I think I can be a little patient here. If you say so. If I say so. Yep, 14. Go. Go. Does he want to who's like return me? I think he does. That's cool. Whoop. My 10. Go. Go. Is that enough for everything I want to do? I think so. Oh no, what is what is everything you want to do? Like made your junk. <laughs> All right. Oh, close like return. Oh no. You're six. <laughs> That's in your hand. I probably should have just made. Oh no, I guess you never tapped out. And you yeah, did. I didn't make a human with my, my Abby. Yep. Go. All right. Slow down, man. I don't even know what's going on. All right, dead. Yeah. <laughs> I could have just killed his knights early, but the way my hand worked out, I was just going to lose to the Avacyn anyway. That was gross. We're here for game two, I've been forced to be on the play. A bunch of lands. Whatever, keep. Yeah, keep. My hand's great. Go. <laughs> uh, fish Swamp, you go. Darn. We actually had a tough decision on turn one whether to fetch a mountain or swamp until I drew a second copy of Smoldering Marsh, so that's nice. Island. Sure. Played at Jason Runeski. Go. Go, he said. All right, YOLO. Mine. Got a stasis in there. Yeah. You got so many good cards in your deck that I can hit, and I can just never hit. Them. Never, you never have them until I'm dead. I'm dead. All right, so secure knight three land. Here you go. <coughs> got six cards. I got six cards. Huh? Go. Hmm. All right, go. Oh, trigger on. We're gonna two hill make you discard. Okay. These cards do nothing. <laughs> okay, go. Now you're going to play another land? No. I want to do that. Uh, guess you drew a thing. Uh, we're going to fetch before we do anything. Get a mountain, and then I'm going to play a Reed Bones. Okay. Film Bones. Yeah, secure is actually a little tough for us in game one uh, until we get access to dress or other things, unless we draw a Kozilex return. So, all right, it's so gonna put me to eighteen. Scry two, two lands. Don't need any more lands. Just gonna bottom those and draw two. You're up. I'll be getting Dark Dwellers. I just want to keep a land in my hand. This card. <laughs> Go. Sound good to me. Alright. Uh, foreboding Ruins, Revealing Smoldering Marsh, since it is a swamp or mountain. And Cake Man, two discard. Oh, good. Yeah, you gotta put your guy in the yard, man. Come on. We. <laughs> On the play, trigger three knights, miss three land drops on purpose. I guess the jig's up. Go. <laughs> All right, for you. Do I want to block? Probably not. All right, 16, 18. Um, how many cards do you have in hand? <coughs> Got three. Three? All right, go. I'll do this for three. Or I can do it for like six next time. 
Alright, I want to upkeep. I'm going to two discard. Whatever. Um. Alright, and then I'll grasp Avison. All right, sixteen all. Yep, go. I should kept that meandering river. Yeah, pound. Bang bang. Maybe I should have kept it. <laughs> Tack. Okay. Like twelve. Twelve to sixteen. Go. Huh. Go. It's actually not bad. It's not good enough, but it's not bad. Tack. Four. Two to four. Here we go. Dead. Yeah, we got one. We didn't get swept. <laughs> Shoot. Okay, here for sideboarding. He doesn't have that many creatures in the deck, uh, so Declaration Stone isn't all that great. Neither Reflect Mage, even though it's pretty good in game one. It takes a certain very th slim window for it to be good. So I'm bringing in these Always Watching, so we, it's, I'm better off against the Sweepers like Hoselux Return. And also it combos well with Dragonlord or Jutai to never be vulnerable. It just always has Hexproof. And there's some counter spells to counter the spells. All right, uh, my side. Uh, Minorak Demon is okay. You know, normally I would assume that he was keeping in uh, Declaration and Stone, just because I think that card's actually pretty good. Uh, killing Cletus is fairly important. Um, and my my creatures are, like, all kind of expensive, so a two-mana removal spell to kill, like, one of my more expensive guys, I think, seems okay. But I do agree that I don't think that's Tom's game plan. I think he just wants to be a little bit aggressive, kind of counter the removal spells I'm playing. Uh, maybe stick, like, an Avacyn or a Big Threat or uh, Secure the Waste or something and then just, you know, beat me that way. Uh, but we're going to be cutting Minor Act Demon to start with. If I see after game one his, hand is, or his deck just has, like, no removal spells in it, might bring this back in for like game four or game five. Uh, Dead weight, I think, is okay in the matchup. It kills neither white orchid. It can, kill Jace. I guess, uh, yeah, kill Jay's stifle some. Actually, no, that's bad. I'm just gonna. I was thinking about bringing Omnixilus. I'm just gonna leave two dead weights in my deck instead. Okay. All right. That uh, just looks better. Uh, I don't want my deck to become too clunky. I think if I end up not being able to cast anything until like turn three or four, I might just die. Uh, so we're going to be bringing um, two Languish uh, and the uh, third Kozilex return to help out against his uh, early creature rushes <laughs> that he may present. Uh, third Kalidus, since it's just insane against Sangerback Walker and uh, just in general, if, if a deck's mostly Sorcerer Speed Removal, like a white base deck would be, I think Kalidus is just very good. And then uh, fourth Cole against Command because that card has just been awesome so far. So. All right. We may bring back in Omnixilus when we're on the play. Or not bring back in, just bring him in in general. Got to find some room for him, though. All right, we're here for game three. And once again, the person who uh, has the choice chose to draw. Uh, we're going to keep this hand. Uh, it's decent on the play. We would like uh, something like a read the bones or some such, I believe, to make this hand really good. Hand's bad, but I'm keeping If Jace lives a turn, I'll be all right. All right, you get a swamp. Here you go. Oh. All, all going downhill. Go. <laughs> all right, untap draw. I'll play a foreboding ruins, revealing a mountain, and then I'll cast a transgress the mind. Do I miss? Mm -hmm. I got. You always get stasis snare. Right, here you go. Okay. Always get stasis snare. Well, I don't like using this now, but I think we just want to get that since this hand is just all lands. Let's go. Yep. More lands. Yeah. What's a little land heavy? Oh. I'll play an island. Go. Or maybe. Yeah, do you see it all? No. I'm not. I'll, I'll play that. All That's right, better. Go. Uh, 18 to 20. Hmm. Go. Gonna Dark Dwellers and Code Lux Return. It's probably not right, but I want to get a little tempo. Go. Get some stuff going on here. Attack. Okay. Uh, 16. Alright, I'll transgress. See what's up. Land. All right, that's what's up. Go. Hmm. 
I'm attacking you. All right, vigilance puts me to fourteen to sixteen. Hmm. Hmm. We could have done those in reverse order and maybe been able to hit Avison. I don't know. All right, I guess he had five mana that turn anyway. Go. All right, uh, Runa's path. Eight. Shoot eight. Go. Make a human. I'm a seven. Mm. All right, I'm going to deal two here, make you discard. The only reason I'm doing this is to hopefully try to keep Menace active in case he draws Avacyn. So I'm probably going to be casting this no matter what. <laughs> now he can't play Avacyn and use Westfell Abbey. 3-3 three, three, hanger back, go. Okay. YOLO. Okay. Uh... All right. All right, game four here. I'm once again on the play due to Tom's choice of being on the draw. Uh, we're going to keep this hand. This hand's pretty sweet. Hand slow. Keep it, though. All right, here we go. Probably I think your deck is super fast. Slow as though. possible, I guess. Go. All right. Uh, fetch a swamp. Go. Jeez. Uh, clue. Go. Clue it up. In it, in it. Side this one in. Who knows what it'll do. Hmm. All right. Shatter discard. Not sure if that is a good play or not. I think the clue is probably better than the one-two body at this point. Hmm. It is kind of sweet that Cole against Command can kill clues, but... It's rarely uh, comes up that it actually ends up mattering. I don't know. They're also medium. <laughs> I guess. That's the only way I don't lose. Okay, whatever. Come on, deck. Give me a plane, sack you. Go. So I'm always trying to get full value out of his Night of the Wild Orchids. Alright, this is probably ill advised. Seems that it's just gonna die, but go ahead. Hmm. Okay. I'll guess this. <laughs> It's in my hand. Hmm. <sighs> All right. Go. I feel like this is going to be a good turn. <laughs> Uh, we're going to cast a Languish, and even though my Cletus dies, I get four zombies. Okay. So, I'll take that. Cole against Command would have been significantly better, but I think that was just fine. Here you go. Or not Cole against Command. Cole's like return. Go. An Archangel Avacyn strategy. Uh, Dark Dwellers, you discard. Get back, Kalidus. Make five warriors. Yeah, it's pretty good. <coughs> what are you at now? I'm at 19. 19. 
Can I kill you? Probably not. I hope not. Holy moly. Ah. <laughs> Kalidus, huh? Kalidus, yeah. Whatever. Emblem, go. Emblem, go? No attacks? Nope. Got a Gideon emblem somewhere. Yeah, let's go for it. Okay. I'll probably be dying this game here in a second. Off it. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right, dead weight of token. Uh. All right, two to a token. You discard a card. And attack. Okay. Alright. I'm Take six. six. I'm six. Here you go. Go. Oh, uh, kill it. Back. Alright. Woo! Alright, game five. Tom has once again chosen to take the draw. Uh, I'm more than oblige. My hand is pretty good. Hopefully we draw, like, two lands. Yeah, I need a blue source. Alright, foreboding ruins tapped. Oh, go. They're learning. Clue. Clue. Do 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 do. Reporting ruins. Revealing swamp. Okay. Uh. Go. Beats nineteen. Go. Beats by Thray. <laughs> I, I don't get it. No. All right. Fine. So we're on the play here, so we can cast this, <laughs> this read the bones and not have to discard. Unlike, uh, what's it called? Uh, painful truce. Well, we have the one lane we need and a card we like, so we'll keep both and go to 17. You're up. Man. I can for stream, I can for one. Alright. Not gonna play land? Nope. Get a clue, Tom. Get a clue. One of your cards upside down or a different sleeve? What is this? Huh. <laughs> Whatever. It's the last game. <laughs> Zebra. Um. <laughs> Here, I'll fix it. It's fine. All right, we're just going to K return. Okay. Get all your doofuses out so I don't take a bunch of extra damage. Alright, you're up. Oh dear. Oh me oh my. Draw card, pass turn. Oh, wrong one. There we are. Just Knight of the White Orchid rich. Every game. Probably want to sack my clue. Over anything else. Yeah, go. All right, transgress. Okay. Yeah. Oh my! All I saw was just a bunch of spells. <clears throat> so Gideon is probably like the quote-unquote easy pick, but Oshai's command. It's just gonna keep me from doing like anything. Although if 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 I if I take Gideon, he's just gonna hold up Ochai's command, and we can't do anything. But if I take Ochai's command, he's gonna cast Gideon, and that could be problematic. But we do have this. So, all right, we're actually gonna take Ochai's command, but I need to write this down because this is complicated. So, Jace Thrabs Declaration uh, Gideon and Dispel. All right, here we go. Pop my clue. All right, in response, we're going to K command to discard. Huh. All right, here we go. A command. Okay, make a knight. Go. 
I get it. You can take your turn. Hmm. All right, transgress. Another Gideon in this right. stasis snare. Uh, we'll take Gideon, and then I'll ruin his path. Other Gideon. Here you go. Okay. Uh, yeah, so 15, I think. Was oh, that 17 still? Or maybe I took I one. I hit you with something. a therapy. I had you at 16 right now. That's fine. So you're at 14 now. Sure. <sighs> Go. Clue Two rich. clues. A. So I know your hand is Dispel, Declaration, and Taste of Snare? That's right. Okay. Hmm. It's not great, but we're just going to K-Return, I guess. Oh, you can counter the K-Return. Maybe that's real bad. Maybe I should just... Transgress and take his Stasis Snare, and then he Declarations in the Stone. And then I get to battle him with this Kalidus. Yeah, we're going to do that. That sounds way better. Okay. All right, you're up. Clue down. All right, I'm going to play this. Sorry. Ah, oh, man. I'm going to triple block. Triple block tight? <laughs> it's not bad. It's not. Kind of bad if I play Kalidus first, but then you get to pound my guy with Declaration and Stone. Morph. Morph? Go. Oh man. All right. Well, we need a we need a sorcery speed removal spell here, <laughs> or our Dark Dweller's <laughs> gonna get punked. All right. Uh, redone bones. I'll go to twelve. Twelve. Top two. Well, one of these is good. Draw two. All right. Great. So you can get two creatures, maybe? Maybe. Actually, that's a bad attack. If I just sit... he has a. If he draws a land, he can kill both my creatures, but... If I attack, he just takes four down to 16, and then he can just stone this and hit me for six. So, yeah, I'll just say go. Um, um. Assuming that the morph is Hidden Dragon Slayer and not Stratus Dancer, which I guess is... It could be either. I didn't even think about stone that. Stone Stone down. I get a clue this time. Your turn. All right, so you have Dispel, and that's all I know? Yeah, that's all you know. And you have two other cards? Yep. All right, well, let's hope one's not in the gate. Negate it. No! <laughs> you always have it. There you go. Basically dead. Mostly dead. I'm still on the two lands I drew over my opening hand. Because I knighted twice. <laughs> Maybe you should shuffle better. Okay, go. Alright, so it's almost 100% stress dancer at this point. So we have to be conscious of that. Alright. I'll run his path to morph. Uh, so. Two cards. Two cards. One's a languish. I don't know what the other one is. Twelve. Yeah, you those are. three are block. All right, kill this one token. Um, I'll draw a card off a clue. 
I'll transgress you. Got Archangel Avison. I'll take it. Here you go. Pop my clue. Yep. Okay. Eight. Go. So hanger back to spell, and I guess he drew secure or an Avison. If he drew Avison, I'm just getting murdered here. We that was weird. How do we win this game? That was a good start. Goodish start. The only way he doesn't play hanger back there is if he thinks. I guess if he thinks I have languish plus removal spell, which. I guess I telegraphed last turn by attacking with the Goblin Dark Dwellers. I guess it could just be nothing. Alright. Minus two. Okay. Go. Draw a card, get back now the white orchid. That is not what I thought it would be. That stinks. Oh, I have to draw a card first. Yeah. Okay. What, what, is this during my second main phase? or No. <laughs> really? That's your in step. All right. Go. Okay, attack, Chandra. <laughs> No, don't do that. Three. Yep. Go. I think we are mostly dead here. If we languish, he still gets three guys. Kill you with this Abbey. Yeah. Abbey humans, that is. Yeah, not the nine seven. Just the just the one ones. They'll they'll get the job done. I got going on over here. Bunch of nothing. I'm trying to figure out what I can even draw. Right, I'm just gonna deadweight this guy. So you go. See how that works. Maybe if we draw a thing, we can we can survive. I don't know what that thing is, but hit you. I'm at five. Go. Go. Turn your wind step, cast that. Um That's not very fun. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot you had to spell for a second. I was like, oh, okay. Just dropped a spell on the table. <laughs> you forgot, man. I did forget. All right, so after two weeks of getting routed by Tom, I finally won one. Yay! Good job. Everybody cheer for me. Uh, no, so this black-red deck, super basic, removal-heavy, a lot of discard, a uh, lot of card draw. You know, a lot of little cards in it that give itself card advantage, even uh, like Goblin Dark Dwellers, for example, is is a, a tempo-based card that also gives you virtual card advantage if you can like leverage the spells in your graveyard the right way. It's not that hard, though. card's very good. Uh, I think my deck's trying to do too much. I just need to pick something. It's trying to do the Gideon plus Secure the Waste thing. Trying to play enough instant sorcery for Jace. Um, trying to be aggressive, but also leave up stuff. I don't know. I just need to work on it, I guess. The, I think the archetype's fine, though. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I so Tom is probably going to write his articles over the next couple weeks about various decks he's been working on, but I do really like the, the mono-white human deck you've been playing over at, at Jerry's house. Uh, I feel like... It, it's just, you know, always watching is just a great in combination with these, you know, one and two drop creatures. It makes your uh, three bin inspectors like actual real threats, which I like. Yeah. And, As does uh, Thalio's lieutenant. Yep. Yeah, card's and, been impressive. Yeah, for sure. Uh, human theme, I think, definitely the, the way to at least start. And then there's probably a blue white control deck that plays Gideon, Secure the Waste, Ojai's Command, and uh, Stasis Snare. So. Uh, anyway, this weekend is going to be the first standard open featuring Shadows Over Innistrad. It's going to be held in Baltimore. The SCG Tour comes featuring 
So Cedric, Cedric and Craig Crimples. Yeah, good good tag team duo for that. I'm going to be there. You going to be there, Tom? Yeah, I like the first week. It's fun. Yeah, new new standard formats are always great. And this is actually the first time uh, maybe ever that we've had a rotation of a format uh, at, at this uh, juncture of like the season or the year. Normally, the, the whole format rotates in October, but with the new rotation schedule, mm-hmm. we're losing Cons of Tarkir, we're losing Fate Reforged, and we're only gaining Shadows over Innistrad. So uh, it's going to shrink down to a, what, five-set standard? Whereas at this point, this would be like the seventh set in standard. Right. So instead of getting like a giant standard every time a new set comes out, we actually just, you know, keep it even. And uh, we'll see a lot of the cards that are a little more oppressive rotate out more quickly, which I like. I don't know if I could have handled another six months of Siege Rhino. I don't know about you. Yeah, I didn't want to. But <laughs> thankfully, the format's rotating and shrinking, and a lot of cards from, say, Dragons of Tarkir and even Magic Origins have a chance to get played now. Yeah, so it uh, should be a good time, guys. Make sure to tune into SCG Live this weekend if you want to watch. Or you can just join us there. Uh, come say hi to me and Tom. Brad Nelson, Jerry Thompson, all those guys are going to be there, too. Maybe we'll sign some stuff for you if you want. Mm-hmm. You know? Anyway, guys, for Tom Ross, I'm Todd Anderson. Thanks for watching the Versus Series on StarCGames.com, and we'll see you soon. Bye.